Hello, my name is Amit and I'm going to demonstrate a number of things you can do with the foam roller. I'm going to start lying on my back. This is one thing that many people buy a foam roller just for that. Make sure your legs are not too close together unless you really want to challenge yourself and align your spine on the foam roller so it can open up as you do different arm variations. And we can do plenty of things here. I'm just going to demonstrate a few of them. We can do arm openings, scissors. All these movements are not just moving the arms, but they're also moving the shoulder blades, which you're going to feel on the foam roller. I'm going to do some little circles now, or medium-sized circles. And as you do that, the muscles of the spine, they have to respond to that. Your core muscles have to respond to that as well, because you are stabilizing yourself on the foam roller. I'm going to take it into bigger helicopter type or windmill type movements. As you may be able to observe, I have to constantly stabilize myself. We can do things like puppet arms, if you're familiar with that. And also just a bigger stretch. This stretch can also move through the different muscle fibers. What I really like doing when I finish doing whatever I've done on the foam roller is to lie on my back and just feel the back, how it's open on the ground, how it feels different to being on the foam roller. The next couple of things I'm going to show use the rolling element of the foam roller. One is an exercise we call Cleopatra and you can modify it from the equipment to the floor using the foam roller. It's very difficult to do something like this if you don't have a moving prop, a rolling prop like that. The next thing is lying on the front. Again, using the foam roller can help enhance this movement. You can go a little bit higher or you can stay quite low with the movement and you can add leg variations as well. They don't depend on the arms but holding the arms like this without a foam roller will be very difficult or much more difficult. The next few things I'm going to show are again things that people usually buy foam rollers for which is they call it the stretches but it's more of a massage to the muscles rolling the quads the thigh muscles Very, very, very efficient, not always very pleasant. Even less pleasant would be to roll your shins. Not pleasant, but definitely effective. You can do single leg variations. The nice thing about it is that you actually have to support the weight of your body as you do that. So you're working your core, you're working your upper body and at the same time you're working to release muscles. And one very 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 popular is the ITB stretch. The ITB is that bend 
of connective tissue at the side of the thigh. This is a band of tissue that suffers from um, lack of oxygen. And so it tends to get quite tight. This pulls on the knee. A lot of people, a lot of runners have issues with that. If you get a little bit more brave after a while, you can do it with both legs raised. And the trick is to do it as much as you can, but not for very long. So little and often would be very, very good. Okay, and that's all for the foam roller for today.